A question I get asked uh, a lot by traders is uh, why is it that prices of some stocks, in fact many stocks, uh, the price movement do doesn't line up with uh, news announcements which you'd expect to be either particularly positive or negative or don't line up with uh, the value of what the company's doing or the project they're involved in and th there's a couple of really obvious answers to that that I that I want to deal with that I think will help you a lot so when we're looking at what moves prices uh, certainly when it comes to the larger stocks it's not due to how the individual retail investors are acting that uh, used to be the case uh, many many years ago but it's certainly not anymore and one of the reasons for that is that about 60% of trading volume certainly in America anyway is computer automated and it's based on um, algorithmic programs that have been developed uh, where basically computers are buying and selling in a, a fraction of a, of a second and that gives them a very small gain but they're doing it on uh, many many transactions a day and so they're able to make money and to gain an advantage over the retail market so that's one reality that you need to understand particularly when you're buying larger uh, stocks the other reality is that most of the news is already priced into a stock the smart money the people that know what's going on have already taken a position prior to that announcement being made so quite often you'll see what looks to be a positive announcement be met with the share price going down or doing nothing and that's because maybe in the in the week or two weeks or three weeks before that announcement was made the price had already risen to reflect that particular piece of news so if you're relying on the media to explain why prices are moving a certain way then you really want to stop that because you're going to find it extremely misleading and if you plan your actions based on what the media is telling you and, and certain news announcements then a lot of the time you're going to be at a very very substantial uh, disadvantage so what does work well what what works really well when you've developed the skill is being able to read crowd behavior and you do that by reading chart patterns which allow you to gauge buying and selling pressure at various points and importantly the identification of reversal points because it's not fundamentals that allow you to make money so if you really understand the fundamentals of a company that doesn't allow you to make money what allows you to make money is that the price moves from one point to another point that's how you make money so if you're trying to do this without actually uh, looking at charts and looking at areas of buying and selling support and resistance then you really uh, don't have one of the major tools that you need to use and if the, if this wasn't the case then why do markets start to move many many months before an economic recovery is underway if you look at what happened at the end of the GFC in 2008 the economic data was terrible until about three or four months into 2009 the media didn't start talking positively about the economic data until about June of 2009 yet lots of stocks started turning up in late November nearly eight months before and some of them had increased massively by the time the media started saying that the economic data was looking better so it's, it's always good to remember that the, the price is generally reflecting data which was known uh, or a situation that was known some time previously so if you learn how to read charts you will have a large edge on the herd and at the same time you also need to be developing your discipline around your trading plan so the first thing you need to do is to get a trading plan second thing you need to do is to have a source of high probability trading signals and then the third thing to do is to apply those trading signals in a consistent uh, patterns so that you uh, can develop confidence in what you're doing. Hope that helps. Cheers.